This is John Johnston, coordination with your reaction to Eric Chenander, defensive coordinator of Nebraska, being fired. <laughs> Everything about this team is bad. Everything about this team is bad. I think we have some good players. I keep saying that. We do. But, uh, boy, the defense couldn't tackle, couldn't line up right, couldn't uh, stop the run, couldn't, 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 couldn't do anything. And uh, not only that, it was, it was terrible to watch. Uh, I don't know. But put it this way. What is it? Nebraska is 128th out of 131 FBS teams in total defense giving up an average of 514 yards per game. I don't know if you know anything about football, but giving up five football lengths of, of field during a football game, if you're on defense, is not a good way to win games. Unless you have a high-powered offense that can score 40 points a game, which uh, he had at UCF under Scott Frost, but never materialized at Nebraska because... Uh, you know, nothing ever materialized at Nebraska under Scott Frost, and just accept that as fact. I don't know. Something leads me to believe that uh, Eric Chenander was fired because Mickey Joseph didn't feel like he was going to contribute to anything to success. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, normally at this point, I, what's the point of firing anybody else? Uh, it's not like you're going to find a defensive coordinator just down a shelf somewhere. You can't go to Home Depot and go, oh, I want a defensive coordinator. Whoa, what kind? Against the spread? Against the run? What do you want? We'll get you one in three weeks. Um, you're not going to find one, so I don't know what the point of just firing somebody for the sake of firing them would be. You would have to look at them and go, you're not contributing anything to this. In fact, you may be to the point that you are actually being detrimental to any success that we are trying to have. So, and that is all speculation. But that would be one big reason for firing, or firing a guy right now. Bill Bush takes over as defensive coordinator. Uh, Bill Bush is the special teams coach. And now we have guys coaching multiple positions. And and let's face it, this is going to be very difficult to get anything out of this season that's going to be good. But they have two weeks. They have a bye week this week, and then they play Indiana. And Indiana is not a, you know, they are 3-0, and but they are not uh, world beaters. Um, tall order for Mickey Joseph, especially one coach down, and especially one who has experience in doing the defense. I'm not going to really lament this. I guess Eric Chenander can uh, get out of Nebraska and go on with his life. And I don't really wish him any ill will. Mickey Joseph makes the decisions. And let's keep in mind that Mickey Joseph is trying to audition for a head coaching job. And he's probably going to do whatever he can to be successful at that. Because if he can do anything to pull this team out of the absolute hell hole that they're in and get even a win out of them after what we watched against Oklahoma, that will be some kind of wizardry stuff. And that will make him much, you know, go a long way in his coaching acumen in his career, if he can do that at all. And that's what I'm hoping for, and I hope that uh, you guys are hoping for that too. This was quick. I'm going to go cook some chicken it's uh, NFL Sunday. My family's getting together so we can yell about NFL things and talk about how bad Nebraska is at football. You all take care of yourselves. Uh, please subscribe. Go visit my t-shirt store and buy a t-shirt. Thank you. Take care. Go Big Red.